Hey everyone, this is Dave from wetflyswing.com and today I'm going to tie a Frenchy nymph and you can see this one is in the um, orange, uh, hot orange variety uh, we have here in the vise. So we're going to get started and um, show you quickly how to tie this little, this little beauty. So we're going to start with uh, Daiichi uh, size 12, number 1560. Um, this is going to be the hook we're going to use today and we're going to use a, for this one, a uh, 1 8 inch bead. We're going to slide that on the hook and get it ready to go here. Um, and today I'm enjoying a tasty IPA that uh, I'll show you here in a sec. And uh, we'll get this in the vise. So we got that in the vise. Let's see if we can get this on. Do a little promo for Union Jack IPA. There you go. It's a tasty beverage and uh, I am enjoying it thoroughly. So uh, we're going to start here and basically I'm just using some, uh, uh, some orange uni thread. We're going to wrap this up um, to the back to get the tail going here. And give us our start. You go back just to about the point, not not quite to the bend. And we're just going to use a little, just using this little guy, a little grizzly hackle. And you want to get some of the some of the stiffer hackles in here. And we're just going to pull off a good uh, chunk of them, maybe maybe less than eight fibers, somewhere in that range. We're just going to pull them off just like that. We've got a little chunk of them, and then the the tail is going to be nice and long, about the the length of the body. We're going to put that on there and tie it in and on this we're not um, using any um, you can put um, lead wire underneath it or some time some type of extra weight what we're going to do here is um, just use medium gold um, oh, let's see if we got it here uh, medium uh, copper wire and uh, we're going to use this stuff here so this will kind of be with the weight we're going to use for this fly and it should be enough um, but you can add more weight to these guys if you need to really get it down so i'll cut off a little of this here and uh, we'll get this tight in and what i'm going to do here is just kind of wrap at the length of the body and even stick this up underneath the uh, bead to secure it a little bit i'm just going to wrap this baby in here and we'll build up this body as we go We'll get that tight in there, nice and tight. And then what we're going to grab is some pheasant tail. What you want to do is just grab a nice little clump um, from the side that has, you know, when you look at the pheasant tail, the brown side, not the not the uh, the off color side. So we're going to grab a good, you know, dozen or 15 of these guys because we're going to make a nice thick body. If you're doing a, a smaller fly, you can go with a few of these. We're going to grab a nice chunk here and just cut those off. And once you get that on, you can see I got a nice pile here. I'm just going to tie it in like this from the back, uh, actually like this, the fiber. So those just go forward. And we just want to get this tight in so we can get going here. So we're going to tie that in like this, tie it in tight here. And we'll wrap up again, just kind of covering things up, make sure we're looking good here. All right. And then we're just going to make sure to get this all about equal. And then we're just going to wrap once and start wrapping forward twice. You can see we're just wrapping there's three times and come one more here. And we'll just kind of cut over the top of that there. And we're going to do about um, two thirds on the back. Um, uh, to one third up front, so that should do us fine. Um, so up here on the upper part, the front part, the thorax will only have that'll be about one third. I'm going to tie that off and make sure it's really secure. See the beads in there. Now we're just going to finish wrapping this little guy up. And now the one key here is we're going to do a counter wrap. And I've shown this on some other videos, but instead of going the same direction as our pheasant tail, we're going to wrap the opposite way. So we're going to actually come across like this. 
and wrap back behind and go the opposite. And this is a counter wrap, and this is actually is going to help secure secure the pheasant tail, as you can see. Let's do three, about three and a half, about four. And this is going to. I'll just wrap that over there. You can see we'll get that really secure in here. We could actually do one of these moves where you wrap around that and switch it to tie it off. And you wrap around this tie it off there we go and then you can do the helicopter trick where you come up to this and you just kind of hold this and you helicopter it like that until it breaks off again we'll finish tying this up here and then we're going to finish this fly up with just a little of the orange um the orange uh, uv dub here just gonna, you don't need too much of this stuff. Just grab enough to make about a, oh, you know, nice little clump. We'll make about a oh inch long or so, kind of a noodle on the on the thread. You can kind of lick your hands if you have to. We're just gonna do a nice, yeah, it might be an inch and a half here. And then once I get that, you don't need much. And I'm just gonna wrap, wrap this baby, and then just kind of cover it. As you can see them wrap up towards the front and then pretty much you're there. Use a few thread wraps, but pretty much it's mainly the whip finish, two, three, that gives you that little extra security up front. And that's that's pretty much all there is to that little guy. We'll cut off the cut off the extra there. And then you can see that's a nice little, you know, it's got a nice long tail, that grizzly. Um, and you can see that UV and, um, dub really sticks out and you, you can tie these flies in a bunch of different colors. You definitely want to, uh, you want to experiment, um, and try some different things on this little guy. Um, because pinks and purples and lots of other colors works, work well. So you want to test it out, but that is the, uh, as you can see, that's the Frenchie Nip tied on a uh, size 12. So if you have any questions or need any other tips, you can uh, reach back out to us at uh, uh, wetflyswing.com or you can just send me a message directly and I'll be sure to get back to you. Uh, and I will see you guys on the next video.